hope this works since Stevie hooks me up with my camera. Hello Stevie's! Miss Stevie here. All by myself again. Getting used to this stuff. Since it is like pushing like 88 degrees right now in good old Nebraska, I decided after I went and got groceries that I was gonna go all the way back home outside of Lincoln and grab the bike to go back into work, which I don't necessarily have to go to the office tonight, but I'm going to because it gives me a place to go. So I thought I would take you along it is pretty windy today, so I hope that uh, the audio is working okay. So some of the questions I get now and again is why I picked a Harley Deluxe. Now, when I took the class, probably what, I think it was two years ago now, this last May, because at that time we got a free course that was given to us because we traded our Ultra Classic in for Mr. Stevie's road ping and I thought well heck we shouldn't let that go to waste I thought you know we ride all the time sure I ride on the back of Stevie's road ping with him but if something were to happen to somebody that we were riding with and I needed to ride drive a bike I mean that would come in handy right so I took the course not knowing anything about it, not expecting anything, but guys, when I got done, I was like, wow, this is a lot of fun. I think I wanna keep doing this. <laughs> I think I want my own. <laughs> so, I talked to Mr. Stevie about it and he was really excited for me because it just clicked. I mean, I just loved it. I just, I don't know how to, explain it really but it is so much fun it's just something different about being in control y'all i am a city girl so i never grew up on a farm never uh rode a four-wheeler any bike of any kind other than a vehicle at 15 years old so by saying that i mean this was a big step for me it was never on my bucket list to ride a bike I never even knew that I was going to be associated with motorcycles when I got older because I was never on them before I met Mr. Stevie. So lo and behold, I just loved it. And I thought I wanted to pursue it, but I was still, you know, kind of rocky meaning I wasn't as confident as I thought that I would be when I was done just because I was a new rider out on the road and I felt like I was a hazard to everybody out there the, the class helps you with that yes but I just wasn't sh quite sure of myself so I mean Mr. Stevie is the most patient man alive to be able to put up with my stuff so I knew that if I tried it out and I didn't like it, he wasn't going to be mad at me because I'm fine just riding on the back with him because he's always, every time he trades in a bike, he's always making sure that I'm comfortable too because it's something that we both enjoy doing together. So with that being said, I mean, we were looking around a little bit and he was showing me all these bikes and I just wasn't quite sure and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I just, I just wasn't sure and I didn't want to put us into debt over something I wasn't for sure on. So when we came across the Honda Fury, first of all, I, I fell in love with the way it looked first, but second of all, oh my gosh, I never thought in a million years the price was that low. I mean, it was not like a Harley price is what I was thinking. So, you know, I grabbed that bike actually Stevie surprised me with it for our anniversary that year but I just I don't know I just love the bike I love the look I could ride it I learned on it he was patient with me we got the Senna's hooked up so 
no matter what he's always in my head he's always in my ear you know reminding me of things you know as I was starting out which I think was phenomenal because that really helps a person that's learning how to ride you know because yeah you went to the class and yeah you you did great but to bring that home with you and to remember all the things that you got to really think about when you're riding you know and every out um, as you're going along just in case someone doesn't look twice you know when you're coming up to a stop sign if there's a lot of gravel I mean Stevie was is always patient with me he put up with all my drama when I started riding and I just wasn't sure of myself I think I've come a long way in the last two years but he never once gave up on me even even when I kind of wanted to give up on myself you know he would not force me but push me to do better so I just I don't know so that's how I came about riding I mean it was never in the plan it was never in my story that I ever thought it would be I thank the Lord for for bringing me down this path because it just opens up a whole nother world that I never thought existed that brings me to the whole deluxe I you know after I learned how to ride on the fury and I was really comfortable with it um, confident with it you know we wanted to go on longer rides and I got tired of stopping so much you know when he could go further than I could at the time so we started discussing it you know and then COVID happened we're, we were always looking because you can always look right you don't always have to buy everything you can look so every time we went to our local Harley Davidson you know we would look around and one day I just looked at Josh and <laughs> I'm like, I think I'm gonna go buy a bike today. When we went to Frontier that day, they had so many bikes outside because COVID and um, they, didn't, they couldn't have everybody going inside the store. So they brought them all the used bikes out. And so we were looking at the used bikes and you know, throughout the year of looking, I didn't wanna just jump on a bike and buy it right away. I wanted to know about it. I wanted to feel, you know, I wanted to sit on a bunch of different ones just to see how they felt. But the more and more I sat on the Heritage bike, I just felt uh, really comfortable. And, you know, I get on Stevie's and I've ridden his a couple of times, not a ton, but a couple of times. And I love his bike too. But for me, it's kind of an intimidating bike because it's, it's a lot heavier, which is fine. I mean, I can still ride it. I can't really put my finger on that I just wasn't fully comfortable with. But every single time I sat on a Heritage soft tail bike, I just, I don't know, it was just felt right. So that brings me to that same day when we were looking, I fell in love with a Heritage and it was a used bike. But Jace, you know, he's like, well, because of COVID, we have a lot of good, great deals going on right now. And you can most likely get a brand new bike with all the warranties on it. Um, for the same price as you're looking right now at the used bike. Honestly, I was not looking at getting a brand new bike. I was just going to get a used one. Did not need a brand new bike at all. But it worked out where it was. It was the same price and they threw stuff in and they did really, really well with us. Um, they were patient with me too because I wanted to different handlebars and a couple different things. So I was comfortable. I love the Deluxe because it is just comfortable. It fits me. Um, I feel confident on it. I, I, I still don't understand why people look at me the way they do. And maybe they think that my handlebars are too high. I get that a lot too, but you know what? If they were too high, I would change them. Um, but I feel comfortable and I feel like I can maneuver this bike really well with the handlebars the way they are. I do want to get a different seat or a backrest at some point, just for our longer trips. But um, <laughs> one thing you don't know about me is I have never, <laughs> ever filled up my own gas before. Um, and the reason for this isn't necessarily because I'm spoiled. Um, Stevie would probably disagree with me there and he probably will edit this <laughs> so it makes it look like I am spoiled. But call me spoiled or not, um, when we go to fill up, Stevie always has the card and 
we fill up with one one nozzle so I mean we fill them up both up at the same time and I just think it'd be weird if he handed it off to me and I filled up but I mean I guess we could <laughs> always do that honey <laughs> so every time I go to get on my bike and now I'm riding solo <laughs> that's the first thing I look at is do I have enough gas or do I need to wait till Mr. Stevie is home? <laughs> just kidding. I can fill it up. I'm a big girl. I can do it. I just don't need to if we're both riding together because he does it. So I let him. And you know what? It's kind of the perks of marriage. I mean, I don't want to have to worry about one thing. And if, if it's getting gas and putting it in my bike, that's one less thing that I have to worry about, right? But I can do it. And one of these days when I go on a trip by myself, because it will happen sooner or later, probably later than sooner, um, I will have to come to that point where I put my own gas in my bike and I can do it. I can put my big girl pants on and I can do it. What do you think, Mr. Stevie? <laughs> You've commented on my video and let me know. <laughs> Ooh, it's warm. But I will say on another discussion that I will do, I am one of those people that suffers from seasonal depression and winter is not my friend. So I'm going to leave that there and I'll come back to that later on. But so guys, if you like this video, push the like button. If you want to see more of me, hit that subscribe, hit the bell notification. So you know when we load up next time and until next time, stay cool and we will see you on the road. Holy totally should have waited to do that. <laughs>